of India and you probably think of a combination of call centres, cheap clothing, cricket and of course poverty. Now while those images haven't disappeared, there's a newfound confidence, brashness and even style in modern India. For a start, there are now world-beating software companies. And don't forget Bollywood, the biggest film industry on the planet. Now people are combining both of those skills to compete in new creative markets. There are 1.1 billion people in India, probably around 1.5 billion in China, and the odds are there are going to be some very strong creative people there who can not only do implementation, but may actually come up with some very good creative ideas as well. It's very dangerous for us to be arrogant in this area, and it's very dangerous for us to be complacent. What I've done is I've taken the Indian stereotypical images out of the commercial, which are British direct will obviously lean towards all the sort of curry elements. One of India's top ad directors, Shamin Desai, was drafted in to help script and then shoot two Cobra beer adverts for the British market. Initially, the plan was to fly a team down from London with uh, animatronic operators and create these huge kind of complicated hydraulic trunks and animated elephants. And uh, when I told Karan Billimoria that this can be done live, and they were quite shocked and suppressed, so it saved them a lot of money. So this was, this was like the big master shot, after which Jim Salter, the creative director, just fell off his chair and said, man, I can't believe I saw this. In India, we are famous for being ingenious. There are strengths that each culture brings, and I think if there's a, there's a holy marriage of those strengths, then I think some kind of bridges can be made to create international communication. Contrary to popular belief, Cobra is a British company with a British ad agency. We persuaded Saatchi's to use Indian resource to produce the commercials. Two people flew out from Saatchi and Saatchi and we produced two world-class advertisements shot on location in India. Indian director, Indian production company, Indian crew, Indian cast on location in India at a fraction of a million dollars. The Cobra campaign was award-winning. But director Shamin Desai is not only creating Indian ads. His international work arguably holds its own against most Western directors. The creative director of Cobra's current ad agency in India, Lo, also believes the country's advantages are unique. Unlike the rest of the world, India understands um, India and a lot of the West. We are kind of lucky in the sense that the Western influences here have been far more than the Eastern influences there. You know, and uh, so as, as a culture, we do understand that there are a set of people, a set of creative people and a set of advertising people here who could very easily write for the West. And there are a whole lot of people who are uniquely kind of uh, interested in writing for this culture. So there is a k kind of a combination in India, which, uh, a kind of uh, talent pool, which can do a hell of a lot more than uh, just for India. Well, this is our 24-7 uh, studio, which predominantly does a lot of work on the pre-play side of the business. Is this for an American client that's a healthcare client? They have been using us for almost two, two and a half months now, and uh, they've been quite happy with what we have achieved so far. Some companies have simply copied the outsourcing call center model for the creative industries. Gray Global is part of WPP, one of the world's biggest advertising groups. While others sleep and party, this office works 24 hours a day for international clients. Of course, India has the advantages of cost, geography and time zones, but skill levels are part of the equation. If you compare to what the kind of work that used to come to India about a couple of years back, that was more or less you know, a pre-frame kind of a thing where everything was dictated and one has to just follow it uh, with your set of people here. But now times are changing where uh, people have realized that it can be as creative uh, as it can even out of India. Emerging economies were just meant to produce low-cost, low-skilled items, like jeans for under a fiver. But clearly they now have higher ambitions. India has been growing at 6% on average for the last decade. India has true momentum. This prosperity of India is a huge challenge for Britain. Not just for Britain, but for, for everywhere in the world. China and India are going to continue to grow. They are challenges, they are threats, but what I've learned in building a business from scratch is you've continually got to convert threats 
into opportunities. And I believe India is a huge, huge opportunity for British business and for Britain.